Hello. So this here is um, Zorin 17 Core Edition. If you remember a few weeks back we looked at uh, Zorin Pro Edition and for some reason I decided to check out the Core version and to see if it's really that different from the Pro version and I'm sorry to disappoint you but uh, there isn't much difference. The only difference I've noticed so far is uh, the limited number of layouts that are available here and even then using a Zorin Pro version as the ideal driver and the layout I'm using is right here available on the core version so it's free. Now the additional layouts that are only restricted to the Pro version are these four right here. They are not that interesting. This one is for Ubuntu, this is for the Remark OS look and this is for a Windows 11 look. Not that exciting at all. Now other features on the Zorin appearance are all the same. You can change from the light to dark or the auto. Now, first of all, let's let's stick with the light for now, and I will minimize this. Now, there are two differences that I've noticed so far: the limited number of layouts and the number of softwares that come pre-installed. For me to demonstrate that easily, let me change the layout first to something like uh, this touch layout just a moment so you get very many uh, pre-installed softwares that come pre-installed on the pro version that are not available on this core version and those include we have things like GIMP if you look in here we don't have GIMP we also get Kden Live we also get uh, a virtual machine manager and plenty of other softwares that are pre-installed there's also an app for uh, ambient sounds and ambient noises on the pro version if you look at uh, for the core version we only have the bare minimum just the simple or basic uh, applications that you need and that's all if you look we only have the firewall the system monitor is available the terminal is right here now i believe with the core version you can install most of the softwares that are available on the pro version and still achieve uh, the, the same experience same feel if you want so is it really worth it paying that 48 us dollars to get the pro version with the core version that is free well in my opinion if you want to support uh, zorin and you like what they are doing it's fine go ahead and pay but still keep in mind that uh, most of the softwares they are available out there just a few commands and you can install them so this is uh, the firewall i have enabled it it's one of the best firewalls that are available for linux users very simple not complicated at all just turn it on check turn the status on incoming to deny outgoing to allow that's all now, one of the things that you might notice is uh, there's the Windows app support. Now this one is available both on Zorin Core and Zorin Pro. It allows you to run uh, Windows apps within Zorin. I don't intend on using it. In fact, on the Pro version, I had to uninstall it together with the software center and such. Yeah, and right here it's still available. Although after opening it, it's now taking me to the software software center. So this is the GNOME uh, software store where you can download most of the apps from. You can get to download either flat packs or snaps or Debian packages, whatever is available. And don't forget that uh, it runs updates in the background. Uh, let me show you something. Uh, if I go to settings, now under settings, you look at uh, the wallpapers. All the wallpapers that we have here are the same ones that are available on uh, the Zorin Pro. All the settings look the same. Zorin is based on uh, the GNOME. It's using the GNOME, GNOME desktop that is. If you go to about section, uh, the only difference you will notice uh, here is the name that is uh, Zorin 17.1 Core. The rest is the same with the Pro version 64, it's Wayland. Uh, we have the Zorin updates, upgrade OS and software updates. Yeah, and these are the upgrades that run in background. Remember, if you don't have a reliable or a good internet connection, 
uh, Zorin will really frustrate you with uh, continuous updates every now and then it's always trying to look for updates yeah and in the process you might lose a lot of data I found it very frustrating that that's why I had to uninstall some of these things and have a simple system that does nothing without my consent so yeah this is uh, Zorin core now let's look at the tour for example see if it's any different it's just the same the same same one we saw on the Zorin Pro it's got the starting sound the same and the images are the same basically they share everything if you go back to these options right here for connections balance and so forth we have the the gnome screen recorder you can use this one to take screenshots or even screen record um, I've tried it here on uh, Zorin Co and it's working unfortunately on the Zorin Pro it didn't appear to work you can take screenshots but uh, the screen recording doesn't seem to be working once you click start it disappears for forever until you try to start it again so yeah uh, if you wish to support the open source community go right ahead and pay that $48 to get the Zorin Pro otherwise just go for the Zorin Core it's free still have uh, the Zorin Connect right here on the Zorin Core it's available on the Zorin Pro so with that being said those two differences are they worth 48 US dollars and now let's switch to the dark dark theme see how it looks mm, which one let's go with this one the same cube effects although it's not as smooth as I would have expected because we are on a virtual machine that's it guys uh, what do you think do you think um, you should go for the Zorin core or the pro version now if you need to remove some of the softwares like I mentioned on the previous video for the Zorin Pro go check it out you'll find the list of all the softwares that you might need to uninstall to get rid of the uh, background updates thank you guys for watching make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel catch you in the next one